And welcome back to Brothers Grimm. Oh, he's going to die. Yeah, it, it's a little chaotic where I start when I last stopped it. Yeah, a little. But, um, yeah, he just got literally jumped out of a plane that he ended up well. Well, I no didn't help survive. keep it alive. Yeah. But, oh, you're still, still alive? Good. Just Any more help? Mm. There goes your teeth. That's what happens if you come to my house. You don't even have a gun. I was gonna say, I'm like, you don't have guns, there's not multiple, you don't know how sentence good. Maybe they think shoot is stab. Well, I mean... Stabbing... Well, shooting could be classified as stab, but... Not stabbing as shooting. I don't know. Oh, you motherfucker. Heads up. Yeah, I kind of thought. Guess what I got? Boom! And a boom! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. That incinerator rifle is kind of overpowered. It's a melta rifle. Or a melta gun. It's melta. All the people look. Melta! It turns into ash. It's literally the. the oh, there's a fucking goddamn a hole up there. So, what you're saying is it's a ash bringer? Again. Very obscure references. Push the fucking oh, B button, god damn it! I was in a, stuck in a reload fucking animation, I couldn't fucking. Do you mind? I am busy! Backhand him when you're busy. God damn it. Fucker. Fucker. Oh, you're all gray. Attack! I didn't want to waste that, but I had to. Yeah. But now I get slow motion. Where? Where the grenades come from? Where the fuck? Oh, you motherfucker. I got him. Which is stupid is that if you notice about their animation, how they're trying to shoot the missiles, like they're trying to load it and it doesn't work until they pound it in the ground and the missile fires off. So it's kind of like a fucked up mortar shell. Yeah. What is oh. the Inquisitor's status? Do you have more? I thought we I destroyed them all. Yeah. Hmm, I wonder if this means there's orcs nearby. Yeah, probably. Saving. Do not. Shut up, fridge. Oh yeah, time to turn it out. Yeah, it expands. See, that's why I keep my place kind of warm, because it's, it's it's so much easier just not having like metal expand like that stuff. No, that was the the Mountain Dew bottle. Oh, never mind. That always scares the shit in me at work though. Like whenever I'm like cooking shit for like all the old people and crap, I'll be sitting there just you know just you know, waiting, washing Where the freaking oven because there's nothing else to fucking do, and you just hear a giant thump, and then? it scares the Further shit in every goddamn time. Because the pants just change temperatures and then just pop. Because mm. they're yes. thin Come. and pieces of shit. No time to waste. But it's a pan. Oh, you whiny fuck. Well, it's also when you cook or you fucking um, wash dishes with like a thousand degree temperature water and then you oh, leave yeah. it out to dry. No wonder it's going to fucking change temperature and like flip oh, yeah. It'll thump like a motherboard. Oh, no. We're not good. Yep. There's a flash move. Walk it off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's another game I've also thought about doing. There's something like um, Destiny as well. But kind of debating on it, because that's a little bit of a personalization. Oh, customization. well, it has no story. No, it does have a bit of a story. Yeah, no time to explain. Yeah, it's pretty much half the story. And hey, then, look, danger. That's oh, cool. God. I took out three in one. Hi, how you doing? But, I mean, it does have somewhat... Uh, I'm good. I mean, it's gameplay isn't bad, but then again, if most people don't know what the hell it's gameplay is about, then you're already something. Yeah, and also, definitely. it's an online game, so we had to deal with a pain-in-the-ass people. No, I can play it offline. 
damn it. Okay, keep getting caught on rocks. Excuse me. Pardon me. Crowd control here. Do you that gun. mind? God damn it, I'm getting my ass kicked. Yep. Where is that fucking grenade? I'm gonna put a bullet in his head. Right up there. He missed. He missed. Got rid of Hold on. There you go. There we go. Bullet in his head. Like I promised. Yep. And only one. Out of three. You fucker. What the fuck was that? Whatever the fuck that was. What the uh, fuck was that? That was hilarious. It looked like one of those fucking orc meteor things. Did or sorry, ship space seriously ship. just mulch? Why do I keep saying mulch? mulch. Like fucking squished their own guy on accident? Accident, sure. He must have known something. He knew where the pictures were. Yep, he did, because that's a fucking orc ship. Ew, he got crushed by a rock. Huh. Weird thing is, why didn't no one come out of the orc ship? Shouldn't they probably they... did. What the... I don't, oh. Boop. Hello, render distance. You're kind of Boop. short. Are you gonna jump across there? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Hmm. I wonder if we go this way where ammo was. Yeah, probably. Oh, well, not that way. I'm uh, just checking to see if there's a skull. Oh yeah. I probably what I would do is just go on easy and just run basically through, run grab. through with a walkthrough next to me and find them all. That's one thing we could do in Resident Evil 5 to just show people where all of them are. Because they're not really out of their way. It's not like 6. Damn it. Oh, uh, that's motivational. Well, at least the game has the right symbol for us. Yeah. We should probably take that symbol and work on it to make it your own. You know. Mm, debatable. I'll make you a thing, because the one you have compared to mine is kind of similar, or... No, not similar, it's just cheap. Yeah, well, again, like, I originally wanted to go through an actual editing software and be able to do it, but I don't have anything that does the goddamn good You mean, like, actual, like, drawing stuff, like, an actual... Well, not, like, drawing, drawing stuff, just, like, a basic fucking thing that has different, like... Or something I'm just used to, honestly. No to it's like the only issue I have. Reach the research facility. I thought they were sending a bird to pick you up, not drop the other no, assholes they off. they did. This is where they dropped me off with these guys. This is where they were. This is probably where they got shot down. Uh, yeah. It's a fight now. Yeah, it is. Whoops. No. Whoops. Really? Okay, then you gotta watch that one on the center pike. Right there. Whoops! There you go. They really ain't coming because. Whoops, whoops! And squish! Well, the thing is, we went to the couple to times to the fucking um, Comic -Con? Comic Con, and it was fun. It's I just when we had the I money wanna, at the time. Yeah, I want to go to the Comic Con and stuff like that. I want to go. I don't want to go to Comic Con. Screw Comic Con. Well, I want to go to the anime cool. convention they have around here, because well, that's actually a better thing. And also, I kind of actually want to get. Hey, yeah, you're gonna die. Bye. Squish. But I want one thing I want to go to the anime convention and also I want to be an exhibitor there. Mm. Cuz I would love to like f actually make the manga I want to write. But the thing is I can think of it all I can, but when I try to actually get stuff down, I never can get it down. See what I've been doing from up for the last couple of weeks is just make a very very basic plot line. I mean like yeah, with me there's no such thing as basic plot line. What do you mean? I'm saying like the stuff that like I have I have like just basic ideas and I've just been trying to link them together for a long ass time now, just to be able to get something down on paper. And I have it just really basic of like how the characters are, what the base issues are with the actual characters, what's causing the direct issues, and then trying to figure out a basic solution so you have like character growth. Don't mind me, I'm getting my ass kicked here. Oh uh, yeah, I know. you're gonna die. Nope, he missed. 
Oh. I assume. Yeah, I don't mean like just have that is type of stuff, but like, jot it down. Well, the thing is, is the one I want to make is like a future um, world where like some animals have become anthropomorphic well, and they've taken over the world. Thought of that. That's the base background. I, mean. I have that. I have that written down. It's just trying to draw anthropomorphic animals oh, is a fucking bitch to do. Like, like I'm not Pixar here. Yeah, but don't even. Uh, fucking god, uh, fucking uh, damn it! Damn it. But like, don't even start on like the anthropomorphic drawings. I mean, just keep the ideas in your head. Just do what I do. Have a bit of reference material to it. I like, do. Find something that you like and just save it to your phone. And just I keep that as a here. base. I, or well, actually, I actually I had it on phone. here, but I don't know if I have it transferred from my PC to my Mac. Yeah, but I have the, the idea because yeah. I found this one drawing where of an anthropomorphic like, wolf, which is kind of what I want to do. Mm -hmm. So it'd be not like. Pets. It'd be like, you know, large cats and, mm. like, wolves and that kind of crap. I like being able to live side by side, something like Zootopia, but not. Eh, not living side by side. Mm. Basically, they're at war with each other. Mm. But yeah. And they had to, like, they basically evolved and, it, like, worked on slowly. And yeah. some of the other animals, like pets, didn't evolve because they were, you know, domesticated. Domesticated and they didn't survive, or the ones that did, they're basically like retards of the world. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. The fucking back. god, fucking stupid. Arr, arr. Don't mind me, I'm busy. But like, it sounds like it's some of the background basically set up. As long as you jot that down and then have, yeah, I the have that base down. of your characters have a small set cast to it, because that's how mine is. Mine, I barely have maybe six, seven people fleshed out. The other ones are just mindless grunts. I don't even have characters fleshed out. Oh, come on. Like, start on that, then. Like, you have the basic idea you want. Write the freaking backstory down, and then start in a couple characters. Well, I can't have, like, the backstory down. I just don't actually have, like, a character. Like, the backstory is that the main character is one of the guys that dealt with the war in his time. Then you have a base for the main character. You just need to flesh it out. Ah, uh, I got my ass kicked. Yes, yes, you did. But yeah, that's all you have to do. Like, with mine, mine's kind of like that, but it's more PMC type stuff. Mm. And it's more of a forced kind of blackmail type stuff. And yeah. kind of dealing with eh, minor world disasters. Mm. Kind of like outbreaks. There was and, also um, another thing I had that I wrote down one day when I woke up from a dream. Mm. Where basically what it is is kind of like what I was think when I was saying before, but not the same. But it's basically in the future that animals become anthropomorphic and they become like basically. God damn it, that guy doesn't want to die. No. But basically, they have basically it's like the yakuza, but they're the anthropomorphic animals, and there has to be like a special task force to take on them. And it's also kind of like um, that um, Life with a Monster Girl. Oh, yeah. Because they have to have their own special task force because by law, because of how they did it, if you've ever watched the anime. Yeah. They, you can't, like, do something against them because they're protected by law because of, you know, what yeah. they've done in the treaties and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So that's like what I'm kinda, I try and want to do as well. Yeah. This is something I just dreamt about, and then is like, that'd be cool for a book or an anime or a manga or something like that. Yeah, see, so like, just write it like it is a book. Don't worry about, like, all the pretty pictures yet. As long as you keep them in your head, you're going to be okay. Or, yeah, have them just well, the thing is, I want to draw myself. That's why I need a design tablet. Yeah, I mean, like, but that's later on. I get the base story down to be able to flesh out your characters, then you can literally create them. I forgot I had this one. Pow! <laughs> Pow! And literally create them around who they are supposed to be. It's like with a lot of the other writers, they wouldn't really like make their characters out, for example, they would have their details basically lined into the actual uh, God story, fucking damn it, this but part not is as much. Bitch. Like they didn't have like full fleshed out detailed drawings of everything. They just had a basic idea and then told the story of what they pretty much look like and then fleshed it out. Yeah. I just get a lot of the things on paper because the things like that I was thinking of, like um, you know what a CHDC? Uh, no, CHDH is. Nope. It's kind of like Kuru. Cool. 
It's a mental disease that literally your brain starts decaying on itself, and you literally left with the um, basic primal instincts, you know, like food, basic shelter, safety, pack mentality type stuff. And that's one of the things I've been kind of working into my little story is pretty much them having to go in and deal with a, um, essentially kind of, it's not zombies, but the closest logical thing to them is just kind of zombiotic humans. They're not like all, you know, fucking ripped to shit and uh, bleeding out their asses and stuff, but it's a bit bad, so it's not all bloody and shit. But essentially, there's no cure for it right now, and so you just have to eliminate the brain. Or cause enough physical damage for it to die. Well, for the body to die. It's not like Resident Evil, oh yeah, shoot from the head. No, if you take off a limb, they're not going to be really coming at you except for, you know, blood loss. Oh, look, you didn't care. <laughs> My only issue is, like, I've done a lot of the research into this, like, into the actual disease and stuff like that, trying to get it to the point where how it would spread and that stuff, and how we would be able to take care of it, and the easiest ways to, like, cover things up like that. Mm -hmm. Which is what the government would do. Yeah, exactly. And this is, like, a private firm the government contracts out, and not just, like, our own government. It, most other governments just do contracts well. It's not bad. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna have to trim this video down a bit. Yep. So I'm letting it go long, but I've died in the same place three fucking times. Yep. Yeah, I mean, that's the type of stuff I want to actually write about, because it doesn't seem that bad, and... As long as you can kind of cover it with a bit of facts, people won't care. Mm -hmm. And as long as you don't dwell on the facts too much. I, I want it to be at least relatively accurate. Because there's some other things I'm going way left field on. Oh, yeah. And it doesn't make any damn sense, so I have to explain that shit out. And I don't want to explain what actually is happening, like the normal shit. And so I'm trying to get that shit at least right. And then I can play with the fucked up shit. Oh, that's at least a safe spot. Yeah, but it's not actually a safe point. There it is. There's okay, so... Can we get around the eh, it's only two it? minutes long. Yes. And normal. Perhaps. My research produces a minimal waste, so the facility's sluice ways should be accessible. Sluice okay. way. Basically, the, the oh, sewer. Shit. So, oh, next time ways. on Brothers Grimm, we're gonna go basically through the shitters to get to the research area? I don't know. And pop up through the toilet. Yeah. Well, that's what they did in Zootopia. <laughs> you didn't see that? No, I actually haven't watched it. Yeah. But next time, we're going to do that. But I want to thank everyone for watching. I want to remind everyone to subscribe, comment, and share the video with everyone they can.